Welcome aboard. My name is Steve Fithian from Grand Bank Shots. I'm here today aboard 2005 Grand Bank's East Bay 47 Binary Star. The East Bay 47 model is one of the most fabulous ones. We'll see when we get to the cockpit with the spiral staircase to the bridge. It's, it was totally designed as a flybridge boat and we're going to see why as we walk through here. She's a beautiful one. So here we go. We're up on the foredeck and we've got our double rail set up. Uh, the single anchor set up in the, in the center, the uh, kind of standard um, outboard uh, rope and fender lockers here with a wash, freshwater wash down inside here. Uh, the hawse holes, kind of an East Bay traditional one um, built into the rail as we go around. And uh, the foredeck, very large here. We've got Duraid vents up in the center. Um, the three hatches, which are nice and chrome, beautiful looking. There's room for a um, for a sunbed or sun pad in the middle there. And let's walk down the port side deck. Um, so she has a couple of board uh, holders here for those board enthusiasts. Otherwise, they come right off the rail. Um, as we go down the side deck, wide, normal Grand Banks side decks uh, with you know the rails easy to get to on this on this side. Um, opening gate here amidships. Uh, of course, we can go off the transom as well. Um, so set up for spring cleats, spring cleats and spring lines here. But just a very easy deck to transit, a Grand Banks and East Bay tradition. Okay, into the cockpit on Binary Star, the East Bay 47. So transom door on the starboard aft side. Of course, it leads out to the swim platform and, you know, nice, easy access off the dock. We've got a couple of rod holders back here in the combing. Um, there are three lazarette hatches right down the center here. Um, so makes for very good storage. Our main fuel tank is back here as well. There's a secondary one forward. The engine access, the main one is right here in the center and it opens up with an electric lift and going down is a very comfortable uh, process. And down below you do have a very good access around our, around our Cummins QSM 11s. There's storage on the outboard starboard side and the port side and then from here you can see our access up to our flybridge one of the trademarks of this east bay 47 this spiral staircase which is easy for almost anybody to go up and down the rails are beautiful the finish of it and the profile of it just makes you want to fall in love with the boat so heading up on top just up these few steps and we're on to our bonus flybridge super vision again from this helm the helm is forward. I can see right down almost to the lower uh, windshield, windscreen, and it's a ball to drive the boat up here in the fresh air and stuff. It's just absolutely lovely. So same thing is down below. Garmin, uh, uh, Garmin GPS in the center, autopilot, some repeaters uh, and controls for our Cummins QSM 11s. Um, as we look back to the starboard side here, we have an L T with a table in between. Um, you know, over the cockpit, we didn't mention it down below, but there's a beautiful sunshade back there that covers over most of the cockpit. So if you're out there and you've got chairs and table or whatever, it, and you're in, you know, a warm time of the year, it's a beautiful way to be able to um, keep the cockpit cooler. It is beautifully finished and designed out of stainless. Rails all the way around, and then in the back side, you've got the mast, which has, it has a, um, a way to be able to lay it down if you ever need to, if you're going to do the loop or something. But that's where our, our, our radar and some of our other antennas are mounted. It's not a big deal to drop the mast to get that low, um, you know, low height overall. You can drop the, the uh, building top and do the same thing. Nice sliding fiberglass door covered in teak on the inside, slides across with a screen door that comes across uh, behind it, which is very nice. The side door on the starboard side will have the same thing. So coming forward on the starboard side, you've got two Grand Banks barrel chairs. In the center, you have a, a storage locker and an entertainment spot. Um, your TV is stowed on this one on top and it comes down on an electric lift and faces off to the, um, the settee behind. You know, some people like to have it here in the center and go with a bigger TV, but it's your choice of how you do it. Um, you know, coming a little bit more forward, we run into the um, stid seat at the, at the helm seat and then we have the full, um, of course, running station from down below decks. You know, in this boat, it's a flybridge boat, but essentially the flybridge is just a bonus. Running the boat down here is, is, 
is easy as running on top. She's fairly flat running. The windows are large. It's very easy to be able to navigate from down here. So it's not any kind of a deficit station. It's an awesome one to operate the boat in, whether it gets rough or whatever, come down here and, and have, a, have an easy, easy vision. So starboard helm door here, right at the spring cleats into the nice wide side decks, makes it really easy for a couple of people to run the boat, really simple. Uh, so we've got a Garmin uh, updated screen in the center, Garmin Autopilot. She has Cummins QSM11, uh, which is a very, very nice uh, power package for, for this boat. She has the electronic gauges here and some mechanical gauges, and then your electronic controls on this side. Um, very nice setup. The uh, window in the center up here opens, uh, opens uh, electrically with a button right here pound you know let, lets the ventilation come right into the salon nicely of course you can open the door the side windows and create more ventilation as you want to so if we move over to port we start in the aft again we have a nice l settee coming down this side very comfortable side high seat backs again opening window right above um, there's some storage underneath uh, this section uh, and some drawers that pull out the table is on a high low and got two leaves on it so multiple things you can do there but everywhere I look I can see out um, the, with a beautiful vision designed into all these East Bay models one of the favorite ones uh, for I know of a lot of you so coming forward uh, on the port side we have a, a helm bench seat here this is good for you know maybe two people but certainly one no problem a chart locker up and forward of that and then ice maker just underneath it um, moving forward from there um, it's just four steps down till we get to the lower companionway. Electrical panel is right here to starboard, so it's easy just to come down into a step and open the door and, and be able to operate anything there. So the galley is down, although it's very open on top. I can be a part of what's going in the salon from here easily. It's not like, you know, the older style trawlers and stuff where you're buried into this zone. I can talk to people in the cockpit if I wanted to. So from here we have refrigeration and freezer. We have storage all along the top and then outboard here. Um, as we look down, we have a you know, nice cooktop with an oven below, convection microwave, and then, of course, double sink and storage in, in the counter as well. Um, so very, very nice, uh, comfortable galley. And so moving back, um, heading forward here, I'm going to walk up to the master stateroom, which is up front here just beautifully finished in lavish you know east bay finish antique and styling the planks on the outboard side really say it all just absolutely stunning and then good storage outboard on both sides uh, large hanging locker on the port side and then the starboard side has got drawers and, and more lockers there's plenty of storage in here for comfortable cruising and the accents and the and the build that we did you know when this boat was in production was just really stunning you'll love what the stateroom looks like so if we come aft we're going to stop well actually first thing we're going to do is stop in the in the head that's part of the master stateroom so there's a stall shower here so there's a comfortable sink with storage above and a nice easy space to get around with plenty of headroom and then just in the aft section there's a, a nice large stall shower with a with a with a nice easy opening door there so coming aft we're going to get to the guest stateroom on the on the starboard side so we have two large single berths we have a locker in the center and, uh, and a counter in the center. Um, there's a, at the aft end, as soon as you walk in, there's a large hanging locker and all these are cedar lined. Um, just like the forward cabin, we've got opening ports here. There were two in, the, two in the forward cabin, there's two more here. So if you wanna have outside ventilation, like we can do in the salon, we can open this up as well. Forward of the galley on the port side, we have the day head or the guest stateroom head. Now this one, has its own stall shower too. A lot of these boats in this size range have a wet head here. Um, this is really nice to be able to have that separate, separate stall shower. Again, with good headroom, nice access to the sink and another opening port. A very, very nice setup to have that day head and second head. Thank you for coming aboard the East Bay 47 Binary Star today. She'll be going online here in the next few days. If you're interested in her, please contact me right away. She won't last long. There's none of these 
bottles on the market today and they do sell fairly quickly. This owner is moving on to another boat and she's ready to go. It's very difficult to find one of these with Cummins QSM 11 engines. She also does not have high hours, um, so you can ask me about that. It'll also be in the listing. Uh, it's, it's, the hull is in, in beautiful condition. Uh, it was painted, I believe, in 2020, so that's been done and looks beautiful. We've just done a fresh wax on the hull and the top sides, detailed the engine room and the interior. The boat's ready to go. Let me know if I can send her to you. Steve Fithian, Grand Bank Specialist. Contact me anytime. Have a great day.